In the early history of paleontology, any prehistoric remains found in or near a cave were slapped with the prefix cave because obviously these primitive species relied on caves, right? Not the case for the cave lion or the cave hyena, but definitely for the cave bear. These bears were about as big, on average, as the largest living Kodiak and grizzly bears, and probably looked somewhat similar. The outer appearance and inner workings of these bears, which went extinct around 24,000 years ago, has been a mystery. A mystery which has just recently been uncovered. Reindeer herders came upon the frozen mummified corpse of a cave bear on the Arctic Bolshoi Lyakovsky Island off the mainland of Sakha, Russia. There aren't a ton of details on the find since a massive study is currently underway to analyze the remains for anything that has been preserved. This new find is of an adult animal. The only previous cave bear ice mummy was a cub found on the mainland. Before these finds, cave bears were known from bones alone. Though bone specimens of this species number in the thousands, no concrete data on soft tissues existed. Now, scientists will be able to fully reconstruct the outer appearance of the cave bear and gain insight into what they ate and how their bodies worked differently to modern bears. The adult bear carcass is reported to be completely preserved, with all internal organs in their original place. Even the nose, lips, and ears survived the mummification process. The remains were taken to the Northeastern Federal University in Yakutsk for a full analysis. This university is at the forefront of research into the woolly mammoth and woolly rhino. It's looking like this study will be international in nature, as researchers already on the case have invited Russian and foreign colleagues to join the team. These bears were an important part of the Pleistocene fauna, stripping plants of their leaves, opening up carcasses left to rot, and bulldozing through ground vegetation. They went extinct during the last glacial maximum, anywhere from 24 to 15,000 years ago. A rough preliminary dating method possibly places the bear in the Karginsky interglacial period between 39,500 and 22,000 years ago. This means this individual was alive during the decline of this species. A more rigorous radiocarbon analysis needs to be undertaken to get a more specific date for the carcass. The international team being assembled will be utilizing every analytical method to fully understand this find. Molecular, cellular, and microbiological genetics research, CT scans, dissections, and more are all on the table. Dr. Lena Grigorieva said of the study, a scientific program for its comprehensive study will be prepared. The research is planned on as large a scale as in the study of the famous Maloliakovsky mammoth. You may have noticed the increase in ice mummies uncovered over the last few decades. More and more have been found in an exponentially increasing curve. There are now mummified specimens of woolly rhinos, mammoths, cave lions, wolves, mice, birds, horses, bison, and more. This isn't a coincidence. This is due to climate change. The warmer it gets, the less ice we have. The less ice we have, the more carcasses are melted out of the glaciers they were frozen in. Even though we will continue to find new and wonderful things, it will be during an age of chaos and unprecedented change from our own hands. Subscribe to consume some delicious contento. Trash the like button, scrape out a comment, and blast the notification bell just so you're in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching. A very special thanks to my patrons Dinosaur, Natty Cat, Ed Peretz, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, Dana Manchester, Clayton Maxfield, and Trevor. If you'd like to support my channel and receive some extra content, pledge to my Patreon at any tier you want.